Guys, welcome to the channel. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. It's the uh, forklift uh, repair people that are working on the forklift today. Um, they usually do it once a week or something like that, but not much I can do about it. Anyway, today we received an uh, Yamaha F-115. Um, 2007, I believe it's a 2007, yes. And uh, we're going to show you how to remove an old damaged uh, trim unit and replace it with uh, another one. Customer this time brought a, another used unit, apparently in good condition, hopefully. And uh, I already tested on the bench and it tested okay, but everything changes when you put it on the motor. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the cover and uh, disconnect the wiring from the trim motor to the trim relay up here and then pull those wires off. While, once all those wires are out, then we'll uh, open up their manual release valve and raise the motor with the help of the forklift and then start actually removing mechanically the unit itself. For now, take the cover off, remove the uh, wiring from the um, trim relay and then we go to the uh, second part. So let's go. Okay, up. so now we took the cover off and this right here is the starboard side or as you're driving your right side the starboard side front of the motor let me go in this let me go this uh, this side okay so now there are some plastic tabs there's one up here just push it there is another plastic tab here and another in well in, in the 150s at least i don't know in this one yes this one too so one, two, three plastic tabs. Just very easy. Just push on and take them off. And this cover comes off, okay? This will um, show you all the fuses up here, the connection to the uh, um, computer, the, the YDIS computer. And here is your trim relay, all right, in the bottom. You have the bottom wire that comes from the motor, which is covered with this uh, rubber boot. And on the top, is the app uh, motion uh, to the motor. So this one is blue, this one is green. If you want a mnemotechnic to kind of remember this, go blue for the sky and green for grass. Blue sky is coming up, green grass is going down, okay? Size 10 socket, remove these two bolts right here. That's next. So let's do that, and then we go to the next uh, step. Okay, so now this is the... Um, port side of the engine all right remember on the starboard side on the other side is where the trim relay was remember remove those two screws bring the wire out of this orifice that's the trim relay orifice or the access hole is right here on the front uh port of the engine pull it out this is your wire right here i have it already there is a little um like a holding bracket right here. You see it? It's very easy. Just take it out of that, like that. Well, I can do it with one hand, but I put the camera down and take it out of here and just pull this wire out from there. See, I have it right here. And the trim motor, this, uh, this camera is too close. Take it out from here, right? And the trim motor is right in there. So... Through this hole, you can see that little um, engine there on the bracket. See it? Right? And there is a standard screw right there. Go counterclockwise until it bottoms out. Don't force it because it's got a retainer uh, not to allow it to come all the way out. Just go a few turns, and when you feel a little resistance that it's already topped out, leave it there, and the engine will be ready to move freely with the help of you know, a couple of guys because it's kind of heavy or a forklift, which I usually attach either to the propeller or the uh, um, trim tab zinc anode. OK, so let's do that. Let's take this uh, manner release, release the pressure from the unit and raise the motor. That's next. Let's do that now. Let me go get the lift. All right. So standard screwdriver through the hole that we, we already uh, talked about. Just loosen it and, and it goes. I can feel that it's soft right now, and I keep going, keep going, and I keep going, I keep going, I keep going, I keep going, and that's it. I already felt that it's already topped out. So don't go over that, beyond that, because if not, that uh, screw is going to come out, and you don't want that. 
okay? So that's done all the way out. Now the engine is totally free, okay? See? Let me see if by hand I can do a little. You see? I can move the motor right now by hand, but it's kind of heavy for me to bring it all the way up to put the locks on. So I'll bring the lift. Let me go ahead and do that. All right. Now that I brought the fork lift, I position the fork lift like in the back of the motor. The menu release is already open. There is no pressure in the unit. Um, I got all kinds of tools in the shop, Yamaha tools, fancy tools. To raise these motors, I used an engine belt from one of the services I did in a Mercruiser or whatever. Regular engine belt. Put it around the prop, okay, just like that. And to the forklift, boom, done. And now we just raise the motor, okay? Okay, let's see if that's enough for the locks. Take this fender off. We still need, uh, we still need to go a lot more for the locks to engage. Let's keep going. About there. Let's see. Almost a little more. All right. And that should be no, a little more. Okay. And the locks are on. Once the locks are on, we bring the forklift down. Take the engine uh, belt off. Okay. And now the motor is in the up position. No pressure in the unit because we open up the valve. Okay. And uh, the cable to the trim relay is already off. So now we're ready to remove the motor. First thing we're going to do, there is a wire in the bottom, which uh, is for electrolysis. It's connected uh, from the trim unit to the zinc anode in the bag. This is to prevent electrolysis while the motor is in the water. So we're going to remove that cable, that little wire. It's right here with the number 10. Right. Once we remove that little one, then we're going to go ahead and remove this pin in the top, the tilt rod. Tilt rod is the center rod. We're gonna remove that pin. To remove that pin, we go to the other side of the pin, the other side, this is the head. We go to the other side on the starboard side, and there's a retainer. We use a little retainer plier and just take that retainer off, and you'll be able, because there is no pressure in the unit, to push it with your finger. Um, once that, then we have this main pin down here, and the whole engine will pivot out. Very easy. So we'll see that. Let me go ahead and uh, get the pliers for the uh, retainer.